Indeed, in the last few years, the amount of commercial space has far outstripped government. And so we're seeing a, a huge growth in the commercial sector. Now, one of the big issues, of course, is, is funding. And I think Luxembourg is really leading the way in that. And by working with the European Investment Bank and others to begin to, to understand that if we really want to have this sort of vibrant startup community and, and a huge growth sector, one needs to really focus on the investment environment. Uh, having a, an ecosystem of, of not just you know, clever people, but also uh, uh, investors and government regulations that back it up. I would say outside of the United States, this is now becoming the most vibrant place in the world for that type of, uh, of, uh, of thinking. The Space Finance Lab is actually, as the term says, a lab where we are experimenting. And today, for instance, we uh, saw just how important it is that we understand the context of space, not just being obviously in space, but there is a lot of terrestrial use for our daily life. We think right away of somebody wanting to go to Mars and settle on the moon. I think those are of course also very aspirational aims. Um, perhaps however in order to get the mainstream investors on board we need to maybe look at things that are directly affecting our lives today. I think it's actually very interesting to see that there is evolution. The first space finance lab was to scan the ecosystem and understand what is the most pressing issues for different stakeholders. And what we're doing already today is more um, sharing our thoughts on how can we solve the challenges on each of those key issues. And it is things like the access to growth capital, which is considered by many as one of the most um, significant barriers for the growth of the space ecosystem, then also things like um, the um, role of the public institutions, uh, specifically uh, European public institutions, in developing the ecosystem. What is the role of key customers and, and uh, large industry stakeholders in developing the ecosystem? Ten years ago, uh, the investors that invested in space were mostly interested in sort of philosophical things. I mean, they, they, they tended to look at space as well, I can afford to make an investment here because I'm interested in it, not so much because it'll, it'll be a large return. That's changing, and, and I think that we're seeing more traditional investors that traditionally invested in, in uh, information technologies uh, begin to see that space actually can pay big dividends.